Hi friends, today we will spare some time on septic shock. It is a serious medical condition that occurs when sepsis leads to uh, dangerously hypotension and abnormalities in cellular metabolism. Sepsis means it is an organ injury or damage in response to infection. Because of this hypotension, tissue perfusion reduces, causing hypoxia and organ damage. And you know how the hypotension occurs? It's mostly because of cytokines. It's a kind of small proteins and uh, that are the important immunomodulant agents in our body. And they have both pro and the anti inflammatory response uh, correlating with the immune system that are effective in defensive mechanisms. On the other hand, cytokines may dysregulate the immune response and uh, causing tissue damaging inflammation. During sepsis, cytokines are released to the bloodstream in large amount. This large scale of uh, uh, inflammatory response is causing massive vasodilation and it increases the permeability of the capillaries and decreases the systemic vascular resistance. Let's see more about the septic shock. Symptoms of septic shock Early symptoms of sepsis should not be ignored. This includes fever, usually higher than uh, 38 degrees Celsius or 101 uh, Fahrenheit, low body temperature or hypothermia, fast heart rate, uh, tachycardia, rapid breathing or more, more than 20 breaths per minute. Severe sepsis is defined as sepsis with the evidence of organ damage that usually affects the kidney heart, lungs, or brain. Symptoms of severe sepsis include noticeably lower amount of urine, oliguria, acute confusion, dizziness, uh, severe problems of breathing, fluid discoloration, that means cyanosis in the digits or lips. Uh, people who are experiencing septic shock will experience the symptoms of severe sepsis, uh, but they will also have very low blood pressure that doesn't respond to the fluid replacement. Next, how is the diagnosis of sepsis? If the patient has symptoms of sepsis, the next step is to conduct tests to determine how far along uh, the infection is. The diagnosis is often made with the blood test. This type of test can determine if any of the following factors are present, like uh, bacteria in the blood, uh, problems with the clotting due to uh, thrombocytopenia or low platelet count, excess waste products in the blood, abnormal liver or kidney functions, Decreased amount of oxygen, electrolyte imbalance. And depending on symptoms and results of the blood test, there are other tests that we may uh, want to perform to determine the source of infection. Uh, this includes uh, like urine test, culture and sensitivity of the urine, wound secretion test, uh, also the culture from the wound, uh, if there is any open wound looks like uh, which is infected and uh, mucus secretion test to see the type of germ behind the infection, uh, also the sputum culture and all, and spinal fluid test. Uh, in case where the source of infection is not clear from the test above, we could also apply the following methods to getting an internal view of the body, like x-ray, CT scan and ultrasound, uh, then MRI even. These are the complications of sepsis. Septic uh, shock can cause a variety of uh, very dangerous and life-threatening complications that can be fat. Possible complications include heart failure, abnormal blood clotting, kidney failure, respiratory failure, stroke, uh, liver failure, loss of a portion of the bowel, loss of portion of the extremities, amputations and all. The complications and the outcome of the condition can be depend on the factors such as age, how soon treatment is started, cause and origin of sepsis within the body and uh, pre-existing medical conditions. Next we will see about the treatment. The earlier sepsis is diagnosed and treated, the more likely the patient is to survive. Once the sepsis is diagnosed, the patient will most likely to be admitted in the intensive care unit uh, for treatment. Doctors use a number of medications to treat septic shock including IV antibiotics, vasopressor medications, insulin for blood sugar stability and corticosteroids. Large amount of IV fluids will be administered to treat the dehydration and help it to uh, increase BP and uh, blood flow to the organs. Uh, respirator or breathing, maybe the patient uh, on ventilator need assessive uh, breathing and surgery may be performed 
to remove a source of infection such as uh, draining a pus-filled abscess or removing infected tissues. So as we discussed, septic shock is a serious medical condition which is even fatal. As a healthcare worker, we have an important role in prevention and treatment of septic shock. Uh, the first thing is proper health education for the patient. For example, if you have a patient uh, with wounds and uh, uh, there is just educate him about the wound care and signs and symptoms of the infection and when to report to the hospital. This reporting could save life. If for I mean imagine that if he is getting infection and is not reporting to the hospital, he may end up with the sepsis and even septic shock. I hope you enjoy my class and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the next classes. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.